Andres Ansip, Vice President of the European Union, says Africa is full of creativity and African entrepreneurs can provide good digital solutions for the rest of the world. Chris Bishop caught up with him at the EU Africa Business Forum. Take a look. I'm impressed to see so many very promising uh, startups from uh, African countries, uh, from the European Union together. It's really impressive. Uh, Africa is full of uh, creativity. Two years ago, I took part in the uh, uh, African Union Commission and uh, the European Commission meeting in Addis Abeba. And when we discussed about survival issues, about drinking water, food, uh, roads, democracy, people, they were interested. But when we started to talk about uh, digital issues, people, they were really excited because everybody wants to have this uh, uh, leapfrog to jump over some kind of historical periods and with digital it's possible and already then we decided to organize uh, this uh, uh, business meeting dedicated uh, also on digital during EU Africa summit in Abidjan. I'm impressed. But uh, it's going to be very difficult without things like electricity which holds a lot of the entrepreneurs back on this continent. Yes, there is a lot of challenges here in the uh, uh, African continent, but uh, we have to know that we already have uh, uh, more than uh, uh, fifty percent uh, of uh, houses or, or villages are uh, they have mobile phones. The mobile penetration is higher than fifty percent here in in African continent, and this explosion. Uh, in mobile penetration was uh, uh, quicker here in Africa than in any other uh, continent. And we can see how uh, African entrepreneurs, uh, they can provide uh, really uh, good solutions. Uh, uh, we are not even thinking about uh, in the European Union. I'm thinking about uh, mobile payment systems. Uh, they are highly developed here. But even how to get natural gas, this balloon. Local people uh, created a solution which is like Uber solution uh, based on sharing economy platform and it works well here. So Africa is full of creativity and uh, it's uh, useful for both uh, parties uh, uh, to create uh, also business rela relations between uh, African startups and uh, European startups. But often that creativity can be crushed by the lack of access to finance? Of course, uh, uh, financing is a problem everywhere. Uh, it's a problem in Europe. Uh, uh, there is lack of uh, venture capital also in, uh, in Europe, uh, lack of business angels, uh, but uh, uh, it's a much bigger problem here in Africa. But uh, to deal with those issues, uh, uh, we uh, decided to create a European External uh, Investment Plan. Altogether, uh, 44 billion uh, mentioned to uh, help uh, African entrepreneurs uh, to create their businesses, to run their businesses here in African continent. But uh, things are developing very quickly here in Africa. For example, here in Abidjan, uh, uh, they already have, it will be operational uh, next year, but they already have a supercomputer uh, built up by Atos, uh, and uh, this is a quite big uh, supercomputer, 322 uh, teraflops, and uh, not in all uh, the EU member states uh, uh, we have uh, uh, computers in uh, uh, this uh, size. Next year, uh, there will be operational also in another supercomputer built by Atos uh, in Senegal, in Dakar. Uh, this will be also the second largest computer in uh, Africa, uh, 500 uh, uh, teraflops, and uh, they will use uh, those uh, supercomputers also for their agriculture sector. It's uh, possible to find all kinds of uh, uh, useful correlations, similar patterns uh, from big data, and when uh, people they will use also uh, those uh, correlations, uh, similar patterns uh, in agriculture, uh, sector, then uh, they can uh, uh, improve those productivity figures uh, quite rapidly.